welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see. And if so, be part of this journey with us. We are growing one big family. Thanks to all of you. And I am so grateful and humble by your beautiful comments and your uplifting messages. Thank you so much. Okay. So we're going to just touch a few uh, things. Um, so if the video is too fast for you, up top there's three little buttons. You can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also, you can turn on your CC closed caption um, and you can read whatever stitch I call out down here. Take notes, pause the video and you take it from there. It makes it more easier for people that have a hard time to follow YouTube. I also would like to mention that I do have a crochet group on Facebook. It's a private group. I will leave the links below if you want to be part of my group. Uh, we're, you know, a bunch of beautiful ladies. You're more than welcome as long as you have a profile. There's a lot of scammers going on to the crochet groups right now, and especially with the links that says bit or cut. Don't open those links up. Those are scammers that go through your computer, through your phone, and steal every identity possible from you. So be very careful on that. Um, I also would like to mention, if you'd like to donate to help out the women in need for Thread, please do so. Below the video, there's a little bag with a dollar sign. You can donate there, whatever amount you'd like. Also, in the description box, there's my PayPal account. You can don donate there, whatever amount you'd like. Or if you have extra Thread and extra yarn, you can contact me through Instagram message, email me. You can... Uh, contact me through uh, the Facebook group. I also have a Facebook page and uh, TikTok. So there's so many ways you can get a hold of me if you'd like to send out the thread or the yarn to these women that are desperately need in need of it. I will send you their name and their address. You're more than welcome to do that. And we're grateful and humble by it. Thank you so much. So most of the time I use a 3.5 hook, small one to tuck in loose ends, and of course a pair of scissors. And 99.9% .9 of the time I use four ply 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal threads. It's equivalent the same thing as Aunt Lydia number three cotton thread. Okay, just a little tiny, a little bit small, uh, thinner, but not by much. So we're going to get started. I want to thank every single one of you again. I also would like to mention at the beginning of my videos when I first started two years ago, I did not know how to call the stitch names in English. So it, the first couple of dozen of videos, they're not well recorded. First, the app was terrible. So it's half screens, horrible. And because I did not know the name, um, I would just, you know, explain it my own way that I knew how. And I apologize for that. But if you go through some of those videos and you are creating those pieces, because there's some of you that have been texting me on it and questioning me, uh, please feel free to ask any questions. I am here to help you. Some of them I have recreated, of course, with the proper codes for the stitch calling. Some of them I still have to create. I just haven't had any time for it. But don't hesitate. Question me and I will answer you ASAP. We're going to get started. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay. And of course, if you have not subscribed, please do so and hit that bell notification for new uploads to be notified of the new videos that I uh, bring out every week. Okay. Okay, everyone. So now today we're going to create the centerpiece for the grape um, motif that I had created and uploaded. And the centerpiece will be the braided centerpiece. Now, I have that video of the braided centerpiece uh, tutorial right from the beginning when I started this channel two years ago. And I had no clue on the codes, so I tried to explain the best I could my own way, which was very silly. Now that I know the codes, of course, it wasn't silly then because I was just trying my best. But anyway, um, because some people are creating it and they don't understand sometimes what I'm calling out because I didn't know the codes. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and create this table runner with the, with the great, great motives and all that for that centerpiece to have something different than the original uh, mega flower that I had on the braided centerpiece. 
So we're going to get started. This is a four ply, 100% cotton thread. This is like Aunt Lydia, just a little bit thinner, not by much. I'll be using the 3.5 or the 3. Switch around sometimes, who knows. And a small one to tuck in the ends, and of course a pair of scissors. If I can find them, here they are. Okay, and uh, so just to give you an idea, for some of you that probably saw the tutorial already, or the um, on the community picture, uh, the grapes, and I have some of the leaves, but I will leave everything linked below on the description box for you to create these pieces first, and then when you're ready for the center piece, all you have to do at the end is hot gun glue, which you will need. And make sure that you have transparent uh, glue, okay? Not the white one, the transparent one. Okay, so we're going to get started, everyone. Thank you so much again. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. And share if you can, because it helps to grow the channel. Um, you can follow me in Instagram, my Facebook page, my Facebook group. You can... Um, request on there if you have a profile like I've mentioned and uh, if you have TikTok you can follow me there too okay so thanks so much to every single one of you and all your love and support and a big shout out to my girls uh, Nancy Strand, Karen Young, Karen Coffey, Maggie, Jean-Baptiste I love you to pieces girl and um, uh, Lila and um Jordan and uh, oh my god the list goes on I'm gonna Charmaine I'm gonna keep forgetting Betty my two Bettys um oh my goodness um I can't remember all of you but you know I love you all okay so forgive me if I didn't call it your name you know who you are okay let's get started okay everyone so before we get started because I just finished the tutorial and I decided to record this little piece and put it at the beginning so you'll know what to do. Now, of course, we're just going to start the tutorial for you guys. Okay. Now, at the beginning, I tell you to do three rows of double crochet. But when I came to the end to put, to add the motives in, I didn't have enough room. It was taking too much space from the braids here on the other side. So I wanted to give it a little bit more length, not to steal so much of the space here on the braids, okay? So instead of three rows, make sure you do seven rows and then proceed from there on. You will hear me at the beginning to say do your three rows. And of course, only at the end when I finish the centerpiece, I realized as I'm trying to glue my stuff in, it wasn't enough. So I had to add four more rows. So you can do it now while you're doing the centerpiece instead of getting to the end and re-adding the four rows in. So it's seven rows of double crochets instead of three. Make sure you always look ahead of the video because sometimes things can change or mistakes can be done and we can fix it right on the spot. Okay. So just a little uh, information for you. And of course, You'll see it at the end with it in display uh, on top of my table, a little video and so on, um, how it looks. Okay, so enjoy the tutorial. Thank you, everyone. So the first thing we're going to do is that slip stitch knot. We do not count this as a chain. And now we're going to do 60 chains. Okay, so 60 chain stitch. I will meet you at the end. I've done my 60 chain stitch and I'm going to do three more. One, two, and three. I'm going to come back on my fourth one. And one per space. Now you're going to continue to do double crochets on each space until the end. Getting to the end, you're supposed to have 60 double crochets. 
Okay, so make sure you count that you have your 60 double crochets. Okay, so I've done my 60 double crochets. I'm going to turn around. One, two, and three. I'm coming into the next double crochet and I'm doing double crochet over double crochet. Now I'm going to do this row and another row the same way. So it's three rows of double crochet, 60 double crochets. And so I'll come back to you at the end of row three because it's just the same thing. It's just double crochet over double crochet. So you're going to go to the end, you're going to turn around, and you're going to come back again. I'll meet you at the end of row three, okay? Okay, so I've done my three rows of 60 double crochet per row. We're going to turn around and do one, two, three, into the next space, double crochet. So we're going to do 10 double crochets, one per space. Two, four, six, eight, nine, and ten. One chain. We're going to skip a space, go into the next one. We're going to start creating little blocks. One chain. Skip a space into the next one. So we're going to create 20 blocks. Skip a space into the next one. Like that. I'm going to meet you at the end of the 20 blocks. Always skip a space and one chain space between them. Okay, everyone. So I've done my 20 squares. Now, in case you made a mistake somewhere and you have an extra double crochet and you're like, oh my God, but I have more of, instead of 10, you have 11. Just come in here and skip two and you'll be okay. So no stress, no worry about that. So I have my 20 squares, and now I'm coming in and do the 10 double crochet. Now remembering, whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side, okay? And make sure that you go all the way to the end to do your 10 double crochets, including the last double crochet, because, you know, since it's a chain going up, sometimes it can be tricky, and we can forget about this one, right? And then your pattern becomes all uneven, crooked. So 10 at the beginning, 10 at the end. We're going to turn our work. We're going to continue to do three chain and the 10 double crochets. It will, it will always be like this until the end of the pattern. And you can go the desired length you'd like by keep adding rows. It's up to you. Um, but when you do decide to close in, the rows you must close in with the three rows of double crochet the same way as you started okay so okay so now we've done the ten double crochets we're gonna do one chain we're gonna come in the center of this one here and do three double crochet one chain or two chain for some of you if your stitch is too tight and do three more double crochet one chain we're going to skip the center here but we're going right on top of the double crochet here and we're going to build uh, the squares again on top of the double crochets So these little squares, they will also be all the way to the end the same way. Now getting to the other side, we must have we uh, the three squares at the end. We need to use them to, pr to produce the same way as we did here. So 
So I'm going to continue and then on the last three I'll come back to you. So I'm on my last three squares here. Okay, let me just pull this up a little bit. One chain. I'm coming into the center of this one. So we're skipping this center here. And we're going to create the two groups of three double crochet. And I'm going to do a three, a two chain instead of one. Okay, just to make sure because these are for the braids and I almost forgot we need that space. So two chain, even though I did one here, it's not a problem. One chain space and I'm coming in and create again. We're going to skip this one like we did at the beginning. And I'm coming in to do the 10 double crochets. I'm sure that some of you that are creating these pieces, uh, because you have uh, written to me, I'm sure you're pretty excited that I'm onto it at this time because you are creating it and you're having a hard time to understand my lingual, right? So don't forget your last double crochet or your pattern will be all crooked. So turn your work around, okay? And do your 10 double crochets again. So chain three and one per space. And I'll meet you here where we have the groups. So I've done my 10 double crochets, one chain, and we're going to repeat this row the same thing again, doing the two groups of three double crochet, two chain, and three more. The next row is going to change a bit because we're going to start braiding. So you're going to come directly on top of this double crochet and create your groups. Now just to make sure that you know and you're at the right count, we have so we started with the first row here with the groups. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen squares. And now we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're going to have fifteen squares because we've cut it down. I believe that's what we're going to have. But I'll recount again once I get to the end because sometimes I can be a little bit funny in my count, right? So I'll meet you at the end over here so we can repeat just to make sure okay okay so it's still 16 so we're always going to have 16 double crochet uh, squares until the end okay so I've done my two groups three double crochet two chain three double crochet inside of the same space one chain and I'm coming in and doing the 10 double crochets now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to continue to do the 10 double crochets on the other side and then I'll meet you here on the other side. So this is one, two, three, four, five. We are in row six. I'll meet you here on row seven. Okay, so we're going to create our first heart. So one chain. I'll just get a little bit more close up. I'm going to do one double crochet only. We're going to work inside of this space here. Okay. The first one. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to come down to the first one here, the groups right in the center from the bottom in. And I'm going to do a single. So you want to have the string coming down. It's going to form the heart. Okay. And then you're going to turn your pattern to the side. We're going to work inside of the string and create nine singles. Okay. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you can push them and fix them a bit. And then you're going to put your pattern straight. And we're going to continue to create the, the group. So we already have one double crochet we started with. We're going to create two more. So your group stays the same. Two chain space. Come back in. Now because we have the two double crochet on this side, we need to do two double crochet also to then create our six chain. Okay. So we have the two double crochet. And now we're going to work that one double crochet with the six chain coming down. So we have the two, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to come back down again and close in with a single. We're going to turn our pattern to the side. Okay. And we're going to come and create the nine singles inside of the string three four five six seven eight nine singles turn your pattern to the front create your last double crochet from the group of three double crochet and you have your first braid Everything else stays the same. So one chain. And we're going to come and create our squares, our little blocks. One chain. And again. One chain. And double crochet. One chain. And double crochet. Everything else stays the same. So I'm going to come. And redo it with you here just to make sure you got it okay okay so I've reached my last little square there one chain I'm coming in to do the double crochet from the group six chain one two three four five six same thing as we did on the other side I'm going to come in from the bottom to the middle do a single, turn my pattern to the side, and we're going to create the nine singles inside of this chain, the six chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Turn your pattern to the front. And we're going to continue to create the group. So we have already one double crochet. We're going to complete the two more. So now we have the three double crochet. Chain two. We're going to do the two double crochet because we know that's supposed to stay in the center. Oops. And six chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to come down from the bottom to the center and do our single turn our pattern and work the nine singles inside of the six chain three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we're going to do our last double crochet from the group. So turn your pattern to the front. And then we have our second heart or second braid if you want. They look like little hearts, right? Okay. And we proceed the same way again. One chain and continue to do your 10 double crochets. Okay, 
So I'll meet you in row eight after we do the 10 double crochet. So do your 10, turn around, do your 10, I'll meet you back again on row eight. Okay, so I've done my 10 double crochets. This is row eight. Now row eight, we're going to repeat the middle one here, right? So we need to prepare it for the braid. So we're just gonna do group, nothing to it. So it's always gonna be like this to create the braids. You have to do a row of group, normal, you know, three double crochets, two chain, and three double crochets. In the next row, this is where we're gonna create the braid again because we need we need this space uh, to give it space for the braid because we're gonna hook it on this one here, okay? If I'm making sense, chain one. So we're just gonna repeat the normal row with the two groups of three double crochet. Nothing to it, very simple. In row nine, we're going to recreate the braid again. Okay, so when you come here, you're just gonna do the two groups of three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet, and your 10 double crochets. You're gonna turn around to your 10 double crochets. We're gonna do the same thing as we did here. The one double crochet, six chain, and then we're gonna come down and hook it, okay? So I'll meet you in row 10, because we're in row nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sorry. We're in row eight, I'll meet you in row nine. Boy, am I terrible at counting, and I? Okay, so I'm gonna continue to do my row with the groups, the squares, the groups, the 10, come back, turn around with the 10, and I'll meet you here on the other side of row nine, okay? And that's how we proceed with the braid. Okay, you guys, so we did the normal, and we're gonna do the normal here also. Two groups of three double crochet, And it's always gonna be repeated like this until the desired length. One chain, and then you come into your double crochets and you do your 10 double crochets. So I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna come back. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're on eight, I'm gonna come back on row nine and we'll do one more time the braid, okay? Okay, so I've turned around and I've did my 10 double crochets, one chain. We're going to come in and do double crochet. Six chain, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna come right on the center of the braid here on this one and come right through the middle and do a single turn your pattern to the side and do your nine single crochets in here two three four five six seven eight and nine turn to the front Complete your group of three double crochets. So we did one already. We're going to do two more. Chain two. Come back and do two double crochets. And chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come back into the same space in the center. So basically you're skipping this one, you're coming into the second one. Single, and then come inside of your chain. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I have a knot here. I'm gonna have to fix that, tuck it in. And we're going to do our last double crochet here to complete the group. So now we have our two braids already. Chain one and go into the double crochet with double crochet. So you're going to proceed this way until the desired length. I don't know how long, how many rows I'm going to do, but I'm going to make it long enough so I can have enough space for my grapes at one end and at the other end. Once I complete the size that I want, then I'll come back and show you the finishing where we're going to add the three rows of the double crochets at the end. So I'll meet you in a bit. Okay, you guys, so I've done the length that I wanted and I did 32 braids. I'm not counting the rows, I'm counting 32 braids. So now we must do the last three rows with the double crochets. So I'm going to turn my work. I'm still going to continue to do my three chain, my 10 double crochets. I have my thread all wrapped up. Okay. Then you can go longer if you'd like, just make sure it's even numbers, like 32, 34, 36, you know, the length that you would like. One chain. So one chain and we're coming in the first double crochet here from the braid, right? The braid's on this side. So the first double crochet, one chain, and we're coming into the last double crochet here from the braid also. one chain and we continue to do our squares and we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side okay so we've come to the other side one chain and into the first double crochet one chain and into the last double crochet here of the braid one chain and we're going to continue to do the 10 double crochets okay we're going to turn around And we're going to start doing those three rows, just double crochets, so three chain, do your ten double crochets. So one inside of the space here, one over the double crochet from the previous row, one inside of the space, one on top of the double crochet from the previous row, one inside. 
So we're doing the same thing exactly like we did at the beginning. And you just continue. And now you're going to complete the next two rows, just double crochet. So we'll have a total of three. So we're not skipping any space. We're filling one in the little blocks, one on top of the double crochet, one in the blocks, one on top of the double crochet. I'll meet you at the end. So basically we're reaching the end. I am at the last double crochet here from the blocks. I'm coming into that little space. Same thing as we did at the beginning. I'm coming in on top of the double crochet into the space again and doing the 10 double crochets. Now you're going to repeat the next two rows all double crochets and I'm going to continue to do mine and then I'll um, cutting my thread and and I'm going to uh, do my edges okay the only thing is this edge will be different than the one that's in the old video I'm changing the edge here a bit I don't want it to be exactly the same thing but you can go ahead I'll leave the link below to the old video don't mind the codes there is no codes it's just telling you put here do this do that because I had no idea so I apologize for that okay but you can see very clearly what I am even though the codes are not calling the codes out but you can see the design of the pattern very clearly if you want to use the other edge on the sides if not you can just do a single crochet all the way around you're good to go okay so I'll finish my three and then come back to you at the end of my three Okay, you guys, so I was telling you, cut your thread, and we're going to proceed with the edge, right? But because my grapes are long and the, I call them the donuts, right? It will take too much space on the pattern. So I'm most probably going to add another two, three rows of the double crochet. As you can see, I'm at the edge where we started. So you got to make sure that you turn it into the back part because that's, you know, we started with the right side. So turn it into the back so we can follow the same thing with the pattern. And we're just going to go in here and create the extra double crochets because it's, you know, for the length that I have, it's not enough. So I'm most probably going to do three more rows on each side. So instead of three, we'll have six. But it's optional for you too. I mean, if you wanted to leave it as is, then fine. I find that that is taking too much room on the braids. And I don't want that. And it doesn't matter if it looks funny here, because we're going to cover this up with, uh, with single crochet anyway. on the edge of course uh, on the sides because the edges we don't need to cover anything up we already have the leaves and the grapes that are going to cover up okay so proceed uh, with yours uh, if you want the same length I'm going to do like I said most probably either two or three you could always advance the video and see um, where I'm at okay you guys so I did four extra rows that means I have a total of seven rows okay now I'm going to turn around and you have to do the total of seven on both sides. So I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to come back in the first one here and do a single, another single. In the next space, single, another single, next space, single, another single. So we're doing two singles per space here. until the end this is the edge uh, not the edge the side okay so we have to do the same thing on both sides it is not necessarily at the edge because we are um, gluing all the other stuff that goes on here 
So both sides need a single, two inside of each row, each double crochet of each row. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I've done only my two sides of two singles on each space. Now, I'm going to come in with my multicolored green, but we're going to turn the pattern to the back because we're going to do two rows of the green and I need it. The second row I needed to be facing front. Okay, so into the back. So I have my pattern facing the back. I'm going to come on my first single. with a single. I'm going to do only at the beginning here and at the end five singles, one per space, because it's going to be half sort of like flower if you want to say it. Three, four, and five. Okay? One, two, three, four, Five chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three, four. On my fifth one, I'm coming in with a single. Now I'm going to do nine singles from here on until almost the end and almost getting to the end. We're going to do the five singles again. Hopefully I can get the right amount. If not, I'm going to have to cheat a bit and put two together or skip something, you know. Uh, this is not calculated, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sing uh, singles. Chain five, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to skip one, two, three, four. On my fifth one, I'm going to do nine singles again. So very simple. Um, I'll meet you near the end. If there is a little bit of adjustments that we need to make, then we will. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine singles. And we're going to proceed this way again and do five chains, skip five, uh, going, skip four space, go into your fifth. Okay. Okay, you guys. So I've noticed coming to the end, I have my last nine here because I won't have the right amount. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On my seven, I skipped one and went into the next with the eight. Skipped one and went into the next with the nine. Okay, get you a little bit closer here. I did my five chain. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go in my sixth, okay? This is my little cheating time. I'm going to skip one. I'm going into the next one. So that's two, three. I'm going to skip one, four, and into my last one, five. Okay, so let's recap. So on my last nine here, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I skipped a space, did my eight, skipped a space, did a nine. And in my five chain, one, two, three, four, five, I went into my sixth, did my first single, skipped a space, did my second, next space, my third, skipped a space, my fourth, and on the last one, my fifth. And I'll work just fine. So we're going to turn our pattern around. And... So we're going to do one chain into the next space, single, and next space, single. So we're supposed to have three um, singles. Well, I think I better fix this up a little bit more here. So one chain and into the same space, the first one, single, that's the right way. Single, next space, single. 
So we're not going to do the last two singles here, okay? And then we're going to come in and we're going to do 10 double crochets inside of the five chain, okay? So I have two, four, five, six, seven, nine and ten okay I'm going to skip one two and I'm coming in to the third space single single that's two singles three singles four singles and five singles. I'm not doing the last two, so I'm skipping the first two and the last two. Coming in again directly into the five chain and doing my 10 double crochets. We will proceed this way until the end. So at the end, you know you're going to skip the first um, two singles and do your three uh, singles at the end, okay? And then you can, if you're changing color, uh, cut your thread and we're coming in with another color. We have to do exactly the same thing on both sides, okay? Okay, you guys, so we did the green, we've cut in the thread, and I'm coming in with my purple. Slip stitch knot. I'm going to come in right in the corner where I have the single. Try to hide my thread at the same time. So a single, next space, a single. Now I'm going to do a double crochet coming from the back, so back post, and then to the front, to the back, and a normal double crochet one chain this time I'm going to do triple from the back to into the next space from the back to the front into the back no difference just a triple one chain and again so only the first one and the last one will be a regular double crochet. All of the other ones will be triple. From the back to the front. So as we call it, back post, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So again, you're going to come in between to the front and then to the side, to the next space, into the back, and do your triple, one chain. Now my last one, I'm just gonna do a regular crochet so we're still here. This is the before last. Okay, so regular crochet on my last one. So first and last is normal cro double crochet. Okay, so it's going to give that beautiful little effect there. Now I'm going to skip one, two on my third one. Single. And again, I'm coming in to my first double crochet with a double crochet, one chain. My second one, I'm doing triple, one chain. And we're going to continue until the last double crochet, and then we're going to do a normal double crochet. All of the other ones are triple. So we have double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triples. 
and two double crochets. Okay, and only one single on your third single here. So you're going to skip one, two on the third space. You're going to put single. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. I've done my last double crochet because it is the last one. And I'm going to come in and do my two singles, one right at the edge. And then I'm going to cut my thread and come back in with a multicolored purple. We have two more rows and we're done. So you have to do exactly the same thing on both sides. I've already done the other side. Just hiding a bit because next row will tuck it all in. So I'll give you a little glimpse. So now we're going to do this one here, the multicolored purple. Okay. So I'm going to come in again where I have my single and do a single. Make sure that's not too loose because then it won't look pretty, right? Next space, another single. And we're going to come in directly into up into the first space of between the first and second um, double crochet with a single, okay? One, two, three chain into the next space. One, two, three chain into the next space. So this whole row will be all about three chain, just making these little rings to do the last row, which is the peacocks. One, two, three chain. One, two, three chain. One, two, three chain. One, two, three chain. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain. I'm going to come in where we have the single and do a single. I'm coming in again where we have the first double crochet and the triple and continue on with the chains. Three chain, next space, one, two, three, next space, one, two, three, and so on. So I'll meet you at the end. Getting to the end, we're going to do the two singles and then we're cutting our thread. Okay, you guys, we're going to get into the last row for the sides and then we're going to glue our all our motives in. So I'm coming in where I have the single again. With a single. Try to hide my thread here. And into the next single. With a single. So I'm coming into the first loop of three chain. One, two, three, and I'm doing a peacock. Coming into the second one, single, one, two, three, and P. 
pig cut, closing in with a single. Coming into my third one, one, two, three, pig cut. Now, we're supposed to have three pig cuts on this side with three chain, and one, two, three pig cuts on the other side, okay? So on the fourth one, six chain, two, three, four, five, six. If you wanna do all three pig cuts uh, the same everywhere, then go ahead. I've closed in with a slip stitch on the sixth one. Next space, three chain, pick up. Next space, single, three chain, pick up. And my last space, one, two, three, not my last space, my last pick up, I should say. Because it's three on one side, three on the other. So on my last loop, I don't do a peacock, okay? And I come directly into the first loop of the next motive, okay? One, two, three. And again, peacock. Next space, single, three chain, peacock. Next space, single, three chain, pick up. And on my fourth space, I'm doing a six chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm closing in with a slip stitch. Next space, and we continue on. Two, three. Very simple, and it gives it a beautiful effect. And my last pea cut. And on my last loop, I'm doing just a single. Okay, you guys, so we've done the last pea cut, which is the three, uh, with three chain. We come into the last one, we did a single. I'm gonna go where the single is and do a single. And then right inside of the loop again, and do one, two, three, and start your peacocks all over again. So very simple, nothing to it. Next space, single, three chain, peacock. So we're always gonna have three peacocks on one side and three peacocks on the other, and the middle one is six chain, peacock, which is this one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna close it in with slip stitch. Into the next space and we start the three uh, peacocks again, one per space. Next space, single, one, two, and three. Next space, the last of the three chain peacock. Coming into the last loop, single, into the single in the center here, single, and directly into the first um, loop here again. So this is how it's going to be. Okay, now I'm going to grab, after I'm done and cut my thread, the laundry softener, I'm going to spray it, I'm going to stretch it, and I'm going to um, iron very lightly over it just to have the pattern stretched out to put these motives to glue them in because it's all crumpled up. If you're going to put this and then try to block it afterwards, it's not going to be good because these will already be glued in and it's not pressed out, ironed out, blocked and all that. So do that, let it dry if you want to, or do like I'm going to do. I'm going to spray it, stretch it, and iron it. It's going to dry at the same time, and then I'll come back and glue the motives in. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, you guys, so I stretched out. I've already blocked my pattern. I stretched out, and I'm going to put my grapes in. I'm going to set it all up because I've already done the other one down there. So I'm just kind of hard to, 
to be doing anything with one hand, right? So you would fix your, your dome. Let's make sure that the thin part uh, where the um, mark is, you put it in. So you would set pretty much everything up, okay? Then you'd set your leaves up, you know, like that. Then you'd set the other one, because it's very hard for me to glue, do, and hold the, the phone. So it will be more or less like this, of course, all together nicely, like that. Have it nice and flat here at the edge. Then you would just glue, 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 and glue, and glue these on. And then if you want to uh, put a little bit of glue in between your grapes, just a little dot, just to keep them flat, then go ahead. I'm going to finish gluing up mine, then I'll come back and show you the end result. Okay? Or I forget, if you're using these leaves, obviously, to put them on, you have the uh, 3D and you have the flat part here in the center. I don't use this flat part. I turn I turn my leaves this way so I can have that 3D effect coming already from the center of the pattern. So there's like an opening here in the center. I don't use this side. I use this side to have the 3Ds coming up, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is small area for you to see but you will see it very shortly i'm gonna uh, take pictures the reveal shots and a little video now at the end with it on top of my table so you can have an idea but this is all pretty much glued in and it's all pretty much done so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for being part of this journey with me please give a thumbs up it helps the channel. Do your comments, your suggestions, and also please share. Sharing is caring. Thank you so much, and please consider helping the women in need by donating whatever the amount you would like. Thank you again. God bless. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other. And until next time, bye-bye, everyone.